Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's take a look at Jack and Daxter. So part one and part two, these are PlayStation 2 games and they're kind of stuck there because uh, it was never ported to anything else. Um, until recently, we got an unofficial PC port. So a group called Open Goal, they reverse engineered it and we can now play it natively on the PC. And it also works for the Steam Deck, right? So shout out to Open Goal for making this happen. And also, I want to shout out to my friend Stevens. He's the one that recommended me this because um, I'm not a Jack and Daxter fan. So um, I've never actually played any of the games in the series. So yeah, this is new to me too. Okay. So yeah, I'll leave uh, his YouTube channel in the description. So go over there and show him some love. Subscribe to his channel and tell him that I sent you over. All right. So without further ado, Let's get started. So first I'm in um, Open Goals website. All right. So it's kind of funny because now um, here you can see there's a Windows launcher program for you to download. And they used to have a like a Steam Deck version and it's gone. I don't know why. Maybe they're updating it. So maybe like maybe when you see this video, they'll have it here because I downloaded it. Um, but now it's gone. All right. So let's go over to the facts. All right, and then there's installation. So let me go here, installation. And you can see here, Linux Steam Deck. So it is supported. Um, they have a Deculoader plugin. All right, so you need Deculoader. So if you don't know what Deculoader is, go over to the website. I'll leave a link in the description. Click download. Okay, you need to have this plugin, this loader plugin thing. All right, so once you've downloaded this .desktop file, Okay, locate it, double click it, execute, continue. Okay, and then you should be prompted to enter your sudo password. Okay, let me get my keyboard. Okay. Okay. So I already have my Deku Loader installed, so I'm just going to update to latest release, okay? If you don't have a sudo password, go here to the application launcher or start button, then go to all applications, select K for console, okay? Type P-A-S-S-W-D, and then you have to enter your password two times to confirm. I already have my password set up, so I'm just gonna quit this. Okay, and my Deku Loader is installed here. All right, so once that's done, you have to download this. This is the Open Goal um, Deku Loader plugin. It's a zip file, all right? So go to the website and see if the if they have a link to download this, like when you're watching this video. Um, if you don't, uh, go to the description. I'll put this up on my Dropbox and you can download it there. So my version is 1.1.1. .1. Maybe there's a new version coming out, all right? So download this, okay, and also get your uh, ROM, your ISO ready. So this is my, so I ripped my PS2 disc. So it's an ISO format, so get this ready as well. Okay, now what you need to do is you need to go to your Steam. All right, you should uh, go to gaming mode, but I'm just lazy. I don't want to like restart my Steam Deck, so I'm just going to go into big picture mode, okay. So once you're in big picture mode, press the three dots. Okay, and then on the uh, right hand side, go to the very bottom. You should see Deki. Okay, this is the um, power plug icon. All right, and then go into the gear icon. Okay, so when you're in the gear icon, in the general, Go to developer mode, enable this, okay? And then on the left-hand side, you get a new tab, developer tab. Go into install plugin from zip file. So browse. And then I have mine here in downloads. Okay, um, okay, open goal. So version 1.1.1, all right? So, uh, so it will ask you to, uh, has a risk. So I downloaded it from their website, so I'm okay with it. If you're not sure, don't do it. Okay, so I'm just going to install. 
I think it's done. So just back out of it. Back out of it. Press the three dots. And you see it's not loaded. It's not kicked in. So I think we need to restart our Steam Deck. Okay, so I'm just going to restart. Okay, so let's just wait for it to restart. If you're liking the video so far, please leave a like. It really helps out the channel. Okay, so now we're back on gaming mode. So press the three dots, okay? And then go to the decky. You can see that the plugin is loaded. So open goal, All right? And then what we need to do is we need to put the ISO file in this location. So it created a folder called um, open goal in your home directory. And we need to have the jack one.iso. All right, it's not found right now. So what we need to do is we need to go back to our um, desktop mode. Okay, and let's put the ISO in that folder. Okay, so in desktop mode right now. Okay, so go to home and you can see we've got a new folder here, open goal, and then inside is ISOs, okay? And then let me go get my ISOs. All right, so it's here. So I've got this ISO, so I'm just gonna move it over. The move, okay, and you gotta name it exactly. So jack1.iso, okay, so that's the first one. Okay, I think we're done. Now let's go back. I'm just gonna go to big picture mode because I don't want to, I don't want to restart. Okay, so big picture mode. Okay, press the three dots. Then go to the decky loader, open goal. And you can see it's got um, the jack one recognized, all right? So I haven't put jack two in yet. So that's why it's not, it's, it's like, it's not highlighted. So I'm gonna install jack one. Okay, let it do its thing. It's gonna take a little bit of time. So just be patient here, all right? So yeah, like I said, I've never played this series before. I think these are the, like the 3D um, platformer adventure games. Not really into that. I'm more of an RPG, action RPG, stuff like that. Uh, I used to like to play JRPGs. But on the PlayStation 2, uh, the, the the game that I played most was Winning Eleven, the, the Konami game. All right, the soccer game. All right, so now it's installed, and then I'm going to create Jack One Shortcut, okay? And then you need to restart. All right, so I'm going to restart it. So I think it will go back to um, desktop mode because I was just in big picture mode. So now it's done. So I'm going to restart my whole Steam Deck, go into gaming mode. Okay. Let it boot. Gotta take a little bit of time. Yeah, I think we're there. We're almost there. Okay. All right, so here it is. Okay. So normally it won't be in your front page because um, I played it before, so that's why it's there. Normally you have to go to, uh, you press your Steam button, go to library, and then in the non-Steam tab, you just locate your game. Should be here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. All right, so it should be here. And then you know, when you play it once, it'll be on your home screen. All right, so now you can see it's booted up. Okay. 60 frames. It's playing um, natively. So it's not running on emulation. All right. And also I think it, it kicked in my settings. So I already did some settings before. So it wasn't full screen. So you go to options, go to graphic options. I set the game resolution at 1280 by 
720 and then display mode I did full screen facing on aspect ratio I did 16 by 9 they're 16 by 10 oh, actually they're 16 by 10 all right I think if you're playing on handheld mode you probably want 16 by 10 but since I'm on a um I'm on the monitor so 16 by 9 MSAA I turned it on to 16x all right back 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 Okay. So now, let's play the game. So I booted it up. I didn't really play it. I just booted it up. I have. All right. So as you can see, this game runs perfectly on the Steam Deck, as expected. It is a PlayStation 2 game, so yeah. So, no issues here. So if you're a fan of this game and you want to play it natively on the Steam Deck or on PC, actually it works on PC as well. So yeah, here you go. All right, so I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.